This is Abhay. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install N10 on Oracle Cloud free tier using Docker, Nginx and Certbot. By this method, you will have a server free for life as well as you will have less overhead on your server with just only N10 installed as well as you will have more control to your server. This method is a tech savvy method. You will need some knowledge of command line interface or Windows uh, command line or Mac terminal. But if you want to have a lesser a complicated version like graphical method where you can just drag and drop methods or just have a minimal low code environment and get it set up. I have another video made on this topic. You can check the description of this video and uh, then you can get started. So let's start. So this is the Anatens website docs.anatens.io slash hosting where you can uh, find all the installation guides. But don't worry, I am here for you. So I'll be explaining each thing in detail. So the server we'll be using for this that is Oracle Cloud. That is the free tier server. So Oracle Cloud is the one of the few clouds that offers free tier server and it is always free and you can uh, visit oracle.com slash cloud slash free. So I'm in India, so it's slash IN. Uh, so you can uh, go to their website and understand how Oracle uh, free tier works. So we need compute for this. That is the service, virtual private service. So uh, you can see that they have two always free instances with this. So here what you can do thus if you use AMD compute instance in Oracle, uh, you'll have AMD based compute VMs and you will have always two AMD based compute VMs. It will have one JB memory and as well as one core CPU each. As well as with this, you will have one ARM compute instance that will have a memory up to, I think, uh, 24 gigabytes and four cores of CPUs. So that is always free and you'll uh, have 3000 OCP hours a month as well as 18,000 GB hours per month. So you can use any two of these servers making that. So this server is actually very powerful where you can run Anaten and run multiple workflows in Anaten. So let's start how you can get started with it. So uh, to visit, you can uh, click on this particular link, uh, click on start for free. You will uh, uh, redirect it to this uh, tier version. Here, make sure you have to uh, select which country you are from and you have to fill out all these details. You will be uh, prompted with a a next screen where you will have to select a credit card information. You'll have to add it and verify your account and get started with the free tier. Once you sign up with your free tier account, you'll have to uh, visit this Oracle uh, dashboard. I was logged out out of my Oracle Cloud account due to some other reasons. So once you log into Oracle Cloud, cloud.oracle.com after your sign up, you can search instances over here. Either click on instances on the screen or directly create an option named as create a VM instance on the build screen. So I'll select this option and click on build a VM instance. Now it is healthy. It's a, it's a time to give your instance a name. I'll select on Anaten. This is the Anaten I have selected. This is just a name of a server. You can name it anything. You don't have to select anything here. You just have to make sure that it's always free eligible, the availability domain. Then clicking on the image and shape. This is the most important thing. You have to come here, click on change image. You have to click to Ubuntu and under Ubuntu, you have to select canonical Ubuntu 22.04 and it's always free eligible. So I'll select that and that's the most stable image of Linux uh, Ubuntu. Then coming to the shape, we'll have to come here and it will have a special and previous generation shapes. So it will have a VM standard E21 micro and it will have a one CPU and it will have a one GB of memory. However, you can select the Ampere based processes too. And after selecting the processes, you can select up to uh, four OCPU as well as 24 GB of uh, memory. However, it is not available here because I have exhausted all these things and I have created another server on my account. So you can try Ampere too. But for me, I'm just selecting the V2, uh, VM standard E21 micro. I'll select this shape. Once this shape is related, uh, once this shape is uh, selected, you have to uh, click here and click on generate a key, key pair for me. You can always upload your public keys, but if you don't know what is public key SSH keys, you have to just click on save private key. It will be saved to your downloads folder. You have to click on save public key. It will be downloaded to your downloads folder. Once this is created, uh, you have option to select the boot volume. That is the storage of your server. That is actually 50 gigabytes. Total, you get uh, 200 gigabytes. So you can select 200 gigabytes for this too. The basic volume that is selected by default, that is 50. So out of 50 to 200, you can select any of the server and you will be not charged uh, for this. So I'll select 50 as it is. I'll not change anything. And then I'll create, I'll click on create. Uh, I ran into errors because of some previous instances. So uh, you can select a specified boot volume from here. 
If you don't want to specify, you just have to untick it here. So you can just keep it as it is. To just sum up, you just have to come here, select the shape as canonical Ubuntu 22.04. You can click on change shape and use the Ampere servers if your account has uh, any specific limits available. Because I have exhausted all this, so it's not available for me. You can select this particular server too. And then you have, you'll have to click on create button. Server is uh, running. You'll have a status of running and green uh, status here. Then uh, you'll have to do some settings here. So you have to come to instance details and click on virtual cloud network. So it's uh, already by default created virtual cloud network. You have to click on subnet. You have to click on default security list. And you'll have to make sure this is port 22 that is already enabled here. That is the SSH port where you will be uh, communicating with the server. If port 22 is not available here, you have to click on add ingress rule type for 0.0.0.0 slash .0, 0. And then you'll have to type the port as 22 here and click on add in ingress rule. However, my uh, ingress rule has already 22 port enabled here. You'll have to enable few ports here. So you have to click on add ingress rule type 0.0.0.0. .0, .0, .0 slash zero, click on source type as CIDR. Destination port range, you have to select 80 and 443. That's the, that's the uh, basic um, HTTP and HTTPS uh, ports here. So you have to just enter the comma and you will be able to add these ports here and click on add ingress rules. Once these rules are added, so you can communicate with your servers via HTTP as well as HTTPS protocol. Then you'll have to click on again, uh, add ingress rule. You don't have to change anything. Type 0.0.0 slash zero here and type 5678 because that's the port of the NATN that will be installing on our server. So you'll have to make sure and enable this too. So once you have enabled these three things, it's done uh, from your end. Now you'll have to do uh, certain settings within your max terminal. Once you add the security ingress rule, you'll have to come to instances and select your instance again. Once the instance is selected, you'll have to uh, copy this public IP address of your instance. And once selected, you'll have to open a notepad on your browser. So if you're using Mac, this step is for you. But if you're using Windows, uh, I'll link a, a detailed tutorial on how to connect to your server using Putty uh, in the description of this video. So you'll be able to connect uh, to that particular part. So you can skip to the next uh, available uh, part of this video or you can go to the timestamps available in the description. So uh, here uh, I'll be using sim this simple notepad and this is a command line where you can connect to your server using SSH keys. So SSH hyphen I. So it's the path of the file that you're downloaded uh, while creating the server. So I'll uh, open my uh, finder and in finder this is the private key that I've downloaded. So which enter, uh, which ends with at the rate dot key. So that's your private key and which enter, uh, ends with the add dot uh, pub. So that's your public key. So uh, I'll come to the text editor and this is the file. This is the path name of your key. You will have to just remember where the uh, key is stored. And then uh, you'll have to enter Ubuntu. That is the username of your server and this public IP address. So the public IP address that has been copied uh, from here. So you just have to uh, put that command. You have to copy to your clipboard. I'll copy it and then open uh, Max terminal. So I'll just open item. So that's a terminal that I've installed in my Mac and I'll just uh, enter command V that is paste. Okay. Yes. Okay. So there is a warning that has been presented in front of me using Mac. So this uh, particular key is unprotected private key. So I'll give you a few commands by which you can uh, protect this key. I have this command pasted in the uh, description of the video. Uh, this is the uh, permissions. You will have to make the permissions to 600 chmod 600 space the key uh, path of the key where the key is stored. So this is only for Mac. Make sure that if you are using Windows, you can follow the uh, video available in the description and move to the next timestamp available. So uh, I'll just clear this interface and I'll just enter the command that is copied from here and I'll paste it to connect to the server. I'll enter this. Once you entered, you'll be logged back to the server. So now the next steps, all of the command lines that I'm mentioning in this video are available in the description. So let's go on how to uh, install this uh, NATN on your server. So your prerequisites are credit card and domain name, as I mentioned, that uh, you will need a credit card to connect with an NATN and you will need a simple domain name uh, from where you can register this domain name and a DNS setting to manage the DNS setting of the domain. So once the server is there, you're logged into the server, you'll have to check for updates. 
if any updates are available in your server. I'll click on sudo apt update. This command will need some time to run. So once that done, you'll have to enter this command. So apt upgrade hyphen y. It will start up upgrading any of the information, any of the files of Ubuntu files. Those are available on your server. You'll be prompted with this, which services should be restarted. You just, you just have to enter the return or enter on your keyboard. Once entered, it will take some more time and then uh, it will be completed. Great. It's completed. I'll click on here and this is installed. You can step is installing Docker and Docker Compose on your server because that's the method by which we'll be installing the Anaten. So in Anaten documentation, there is an also installation with Docker and Docker is a virtual containerization service that's uh, offers for installing various open source applications. So I'll not go in detail of what Docker is and what Docker offers. Just have to follow this particular command. I'll copy this command from here. I'll go to my terminal. I'll, I'll just hit enter. Command is uh, actually done. You just have to type docker here in your window. So that will show if the docker is successfully installed in your um, particular web server or not. Now let's uh, find the next step. That is install uh, anaten as a docker container in your server. So you just have to make sure you have to replace anaten.yourdomain.com with this command. So uh, I will be testing this commands with anaten.yourdomain.com. Instead, I have currently replaced it with my domain. So 776.556.xy, that's it's my domain. So I'll just have to copy this command. And you just have to make sure in, in your notepad or textpad, wherever uh, you're comfortable with, you just have to replace your domain.com with your actual domain that you have registered with any of the registrar. Then I'll go back to uh, my terminal again. I'll hit clear and I'll just enter this particular command. And I'll wait until this uh, command is successfully executed it has been completed. It will take some more time. So you just have to be patient with this uh, in this step. So once this is done, you'll have to move to the next step. So you have to just check if the Docker is running on or not. So you can uh, check, go to your terminal. I'll check sudo docker ps. So that will be all of your Docker containers. Those are active or not. So you can see it in it and uh, IO slash in it. And so that means that it is actually working on your server. So the next step is that uh, you have to check if the NATN is successfully installed on your server or not. For which you'll have to go to your uh, Oracle Cloud again and you have to copy this public IP address. Once copied, you'll have to go to your browser and just type colon 5678. So by this method, you can see that uh, your NATN server is con configured to use a secure cookie URL. That means the setup has been completed. However, uh, it is not secure here. So only if the SSL certificate is installed here, your Anaten will be installed. So you can just remove this secure copy configuration in Anaten from your server and use it as it is. However, it is not recommended. So you just have to uh, have a domain. You can have any subdomain too. That is completely fine. So uh, once you have that subdomain, I'll uh, configure, I'll uh, tell you how you can configure the DNS settings and just map a domain to this particular IP address of your server. So the next step to do is we'll have to go to the documentation again uh, before going to this step number four or step number five that is installing nginx as well as the reverse proxy i'll have to uh, add uh, will you have to set up two three uh, the separate dns records so you have to copy your ip address and you'll have to go to your dns manager so i'm using cloudflare for my particular domain but if you have registered domain from any of your registrar you can just go there and manage the DNS settings. But if you're using Cloudflare for DNS, you can come to Cloudflare and manage the DNS here. So I'll come here. I'll just disable this proxy test. Make sure you are disabling this uh, complete proxy to uh, get the actual traffic to your server. So you just have to put the IP address. I'll just remove the HTTP from here and I'll type the name as Anaten because this is what the subdomain I have configured earlier in my Anaten steps. So in this documentation, I have explained why this is there and you have to replace with your domain. So anaten dot this particular domain and which is for which I'll be setting up the A record for. I'll click on save. Once clicked, my this particular A record has been configured with Cloudflare. Now let's move to the next step. So the next step is installing uh, Nginx. So you just have to copy this particular command and you'll have to go back to your terminal and just enter this particular command. It will again take some time depending on your internet connection on your system uh, specifications. And once that done, you can continue. I'll just hit Y and it will start working. This has been successfully done. The Nginx has been installed to your server. 
Now let's configure the reverse proxy. Reverse proxy is by which uh, your domain will map to this particular port. So you'll be only be able to use a domain with a secure SSL certificate to access your NTN and that will be the most secure method possible. So you have to uh, create an nginx site configuration file by using this command. So once the nginx is installed, I'll copy this command and I'll go to my terminal. Once I'm in my terminal, I'll enter this command and this particular uh, screen will be opened in front of you. So once this site uh, screen will be opened in front of you, you just have to go to the next command and this is a particular the nginx configuration file. So you just have to make sure I'll be having an attend.yourdomain.com here. You have to make sure the uh, you replace an attend.yourdomain.com with your actual domain. If you don't do that, the configuration will not be set up properly. I'll go back to my terminal again. I'll paste these things here. Then I'll have to click on control X and just click on Y and return. So that means I have configured, I have added the configurations to this particular file such etc nginx sites available and nnn. So these configurations are added here. Once these configurations are added, you are very close to your nnn setup. You just have to make sure enable the site and reload nginx. That means the site is available and you will have to reload it. You can just copy these commands, come here to your terminal again and just enter these commands. Once this entered, the configuration will be successful and you can see that the syntax is okay. Now, the last step that is obtaining the SSL certificate for your domain. So you'll be able to access and attend with your actual domain and that will be uh, completely secured for your workflow automation. You can just copy this particular command in the step six, come back to your terminal again and just enter the command here. So once you enter this command, there will be few configuration steps that will be required. I'll explain you step by step. It is asking me, do you want to continue? I'll type Y. It will ask for an email ID to uh, send all the SSL certificate renewal notifications here. You can cancel this too, but I'll just enter my email ID here. You have to accept these terms and conditions. You will have to type Y and Y. It will ask a new certificate for an attend.776.556.xyz uh, and it, it is it said some challenges have failed. So there might be a uh, issue in requesting a certificate uh, for your domain. So just have to make sure that you wait for some five to 10 minutes uh, after you add your DNS record so that the certificate will be available. So I'll wait for five to 10 minutes and I'll just run the command again. I had some issues with my server. So I just uh, rebooted this my server from Oracle Cloud here. So if you are facing any issues in between, so you can just reboot your instance to make sure if everything is working correctly or not. Uh, so this is my uh, thing and you can see that once this is successfully, uh, you have completed the last step, deploying certificate, successfully deployed certificate. Now you can see that you'll be able to uh, access this, your domain using HTTPS. So let's copy from here, go to the browser and type anatend.yourdomain.com or .xyz, whatever your extensions and boom, you'll be able to set up an attend account from here uh, and from your IP address, you'll not be able to access your domain. So you can set up any dummy email address, anything uh, as per your preference, I'll select it. And I'm inside my Anatend dashboard. From here, you can start from scratch or start building AI agents and automations as per your uh, preferences or whatever you like. So that's it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching this video. If you have, if this video has been helpful for you, you can drop me in comments. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in comments through. If you need any of my assistance in setting up this NIT and you can reach out to my, my email address or social channels. Links are available in the description. Have a great day. Bye.